I'm going to have a video where, of war breaks out in Africa. So the first thing that happens is Algeria finally declaring war on Morocco. This leads to Western Sahara joining the Algeria side, and Tunisia decides to break tradition and goes to war with Algeria. With this, Israel also declares war on the Red Team and Palestine and Lebanon getting on the action. And they tell the surrounding countries in the Middle East not to get involved because they don't want this going into a global conflict. And the rest of the Middle East decides to agree for once. So, um, first we see um, Morocco fixing its border because I don't know how to draw. Um, and I obviously have Moroccan controlled territory in the Western Sahara like this, so yeah. So, first what we see is um, Morocco moving troops up to its, Algeria moving troops up to its Moroccan border um, so they can launch a full scale offensive. After doing this, um, we see them fortify this flank right here in case they get attacked from Mauritania or Mali. Um, and now they have to, and now they're going to cross into the Moroccan border. Um, after fixing this, because once again, I'm terrible at everything, um, we see, um, Algeria crossing into Morocco. Um, the plan is to split them up, up into two, um, so they can get an upper hand quickly. Um, eventually Algeria is able to connect the lines. We also have another offensive in Algeria, um, where, um, so they can split them up once again. Um, Eventually, after meeting um, heavy Moroccan resistance, we have them being able to split Morocco into three pieces. <laughs> Israel's forces are, are using the Mediterranean Sea to get into Tunisia, Tunisia um, who is being pushed in by Algeria right now. Now, Algeria has a, little bit of a lot more sympathy um, when it comes to um, invading Tunisia, as, as we know, Morocco as, as we know, Morocco and Algeria kind of hate each other, so they don't really have much sympathy. But, you know, these two are both, like, technically allies, but I just did this for entertainment. Um, so after Tunisia is able to push back the Algerian army a couple of times, we see them even making advancements in, into um, northern Algeria. Now, one part that's going to be kind of hard is that once the coast um, from the Mediterranean Sea or the Atlantic Ocean in, in Morocco's case is captured, these countries are going to be kind of screwed because right here, if you didn't, if you somehow didn't know, there's a massive freaking desert, and it's called the Sahara. We have the Western Sahara um, also being able to push back Morocco, um, and I know I'm making that in the color and stuff, but that's because it's tangly part of Morocco. Depends on the way you see it. So we have the Western Sahara pushing Morocco out of themselves, whilst Morocco um, decides to push in. I, I don't know why I'm doing this. Let's just, yeah, so just keep the same color. So I think I'll, yeah, that's a better tint. So we have Morocco continuing their push into the Western Sahara, and they're able to block it off. So now we're going to be seeing a quick fall of the Western Sahara with um, Morocco um, gathering its forces and putting in a full scale um, wipeout of the country. Well, depending on how you see it, once again. Oh boy. Africa's complicated, the Middle East is complicated, Asia's complicated, everything is complicated, so I don't really want to get into it. Eventually, we have Morocco squeezing in the last um, few Western Saharan forces until the country is wiped out. So now um, Morocco can refocus onto Algeria. Um, now, that was a really hard offensive to do, but they got through it eventually because, you know, they're split in three right now. So, the Morocco makes advancements into the Algerian occupied territory and they're eventually able to reconnect the country and squeeze out Algerian forces by sea and push them back into their own country. That sounds like something that Confederate would say. Um, we also have Morocco making advancements along, um, along Algeria's occupied zones and causing encirclement and wipeout. Eventually, Algeria decides to go on the offensive once again. Um, and they use this little part of the uh, the part of the Moroccan border to push through. So now we see um, the Bouguerouti mainly benefiting from this war, um, as Tunisia continues to push through with the help of Israel. Now uh, Tunisia is starting to be known as Algeria's Vietnam at this point, but whatever. Um, and we consider and we continue to see push throughs into Algeria. We also see some. We also see some ISIS rebels popping up, so I think I'll, I'll just make them the color of gray, because why not? So we have some popping up in Tunisia, some in Algeria, um, we even have a couple places in Morocco, and another spot in Algeria. I threw this in just because why not? 
Um, over in the Middle East, we can, we can see uh, some more ISIS rebels popping up because just why not? Although because they popped up in Israel was one of their locations, Israel um, is able to wipe them out because Israel obviously very big power. Um, we also see Israel going in for their push and to um their claim of Palestine and Palestine's claim over Israel. Yada yada. I think Israel actually recognizes Palestine. I'm not too sure about Palestine though. Um, so Israel easily pushes into Palestine with their much superior military. Um, and they also push up into Lebanon, taking out most of the country and even wiping out the ISIS rebels. Um, with this, um, Israel um, tries to send in troops through Egypt so they can um, have another front other than just using their Tunisian part. So they want to cross through um, the coast of Egypt and Libya um, so they can get into Algeria as a, some of a sneak attack. Because Algeria can still sink their ships over here, but if you send them in by land, it's going to take longer, but it might work in the end. Um, Egypt and Libya refuse, it's further swaying tensions on whether they should join the war or not. Eventually, um, Algeria's, um, after, um, after both teams decide to focus on ISIS rebels and weirdly aid each other, um, we see ISIS being pretty, um, cut down, especially, especially in Morocco where they're just completely wiped out, and in Tunisia where they're starting to be pushed back into the Mediterranean until they eventually surrender. We also see um, some minor, some more pushbacks in Algeria. Until it's gone. Um, Tunisia then co- decides to continue its um war on on Algeria by pushing um down to make another front. Eventually, um, Algeria is starting to get overwhelmed at this point. Um, but they are able to break um through two connections that the front lines have made. Algeria is considering taking their forces out of Tunisia. Um, but Algeria is pretty convinced that they that they will be able to hold the line. Eventually, we see Morocco um, making their first advancement into this war, um, into territory that's not Western Sahara, into Algerian territory, I should say. So we have them pushing up um, from the north, from northern Algeria to hopefully capture the Mediterranean coast. After um, causing a large encirclement, now we have um, a massive defensive front being um, held out, um, limiting um, Morocco's push. Now, Algeria is getting more and more worried, especially considering that Morocco was able to just wipe out their forces in, in the country and was able to squeeze out Algerian forces with the re- with the final one surrendering. We also see um, another pu- two more pushbacks. So Algeria is thinking of allies that can call on. And after Israel se- um, sends in a, hey, can we please pass through you to, to Libya and Egypt? Um, Libya decides to declare a war on 